today I was starting Drake and Guard 3, which is a very mixed bag, like yeah. all the Drake and Guard games. Um, this game takes place, um, I don't know how many years before Drake and Guard 1, but it, it's a prequel to Drake and Guard 1. It, it explains a lot of how, like, where the Watchers came from. And it also introduces a new character who is linked to the Nia universe, like Nia Automata and Nia Replicant. It's a very weird game. <laughs> it has some very odd decisions about the humour in it. I forgot why we skipped 2. Uh, so 2 is a direct sequel to Drake and Guard 1, but it's not linked to Nia at all, and it wasn't made by Yoko Taro. It was made by a completely different person. Long ago. In an age tarnished by endless conflict, five beautiful goddesses descended upon the land. The goddesses sang mystical songs that restored peace and harmony to our broken world. The people began to worship these holy songstresses and came to refer to them as intoners. And as a result, oh, mankind enjoyed an age of sweet reverie. Oh, it's, not, it's only one face. Basking in the newfound light. In oh, the side. Oh, oh. You murderous savage. Oh man, Zero's my favorite Dragon Guard character. <laughs> man, kind. I don't care, I love Zero. I love a backstory. Oh yes! Look at the graphics, boys! Compared to Drake and Guard 1, you actually have a good dodge that you can go in any direction. And you have a lock-on as well. And a good jump. But yeah, this is the Cathedral City. Again, looks like a modern-day city, and this eventually becomes the Empire City in Drake and Guard 1. And you also have Beast Mode. It's been a long time, Zero. There they are, the power Has rangers. it? Hey, it's Zero! Hey, Zero! <laughs> Zero, this fighting is pointless! You have to stop! We're sisters! Oh, don't be such a prude, Four. A good cat fight really gets my juices flowing. Oh, they're all going beast mode. Oh, I'm about to make the same fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, so the intoners can summon demons, quote unquote. And we'll explain that when we get to it. Oh, here she is. This is a story of six sisters. This is a card. In a world protected by the power of song. The most mysterious character in all of Nia and fucking Drake. The Land of Sands. The Land of Sands? And the Cathedral Shut City. Up. The Cathedral City is what would become the Empire City in Drake. But Garden. one of these sisters seeks to bring about the world's ruin. Oh, it's a Polaroid. Mm. And she won't rest <laughs> until all the others are dead. Don't roll around in the fucking mud! Oh, funny piss joke. Yeah, this is Mikhail. This is basically like Michael's reincarnation. Strap in because it doesn't get any better. The jokes actually get more obnoxious and more cringy. You better not chicken out. That means no running away like a Are these DZ weapons OP? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Probably cheating have... again. It's not cheating, it's part of the game. <laughs> we've got we've got the Intona Garb, pink, black, and crimson. We've got the, the good old English flag there. We might get an audience yeah. with Lady Five. Oh, <laughs> see them beautiful games. <laughs> God's sake. All the soldiers are simping. Something's rising up. It's rising. It's Metal Gear Rise. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh shit, it's become Crash. 
She'd be super hot if she wasn't trying to kill us. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he sound like the Sonic guy? He did so She'd be really <laughs> hot if she wasn't trying to kill us. <laughs> Look at that long ponytail. Now we're talking. Oh, oh, oh. I told you the aerial combat is not great. For me, why, whatever could it possibly be? It's revenge for what you did to me. No, oh, right. How could I forget? Back then, you were so strong, it made my thighs ache. <laughs> but not anymore. Either she's really tall or he's really <laughs> short. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna Pretty stab sharp. my eardrums. Behold, the fifth song Grand Light of Antiquity. The great power made manifest. Oh, it's the, the rings. The ceremony of glorious arrival. Burn into thine eyes the, the punishing lance of divine retribution. What was the thing I was fighting I, yesterday that had that? In my oh. name. Mm. Manuel, arise! Oh, I like this music. Yeah, it's very good. This, this bit's well funny. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Shut up. Why is your scare? She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> After defeating five in the land of seas, Zero took Dido, her sister's disciple, and made for her next destination the land of mountains, oh, home God. to an impenetrable alpine citadel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes, yes that is I'm the Drake and Godfrey I know. That's how an intoner regenerates? No, just Sarah. Woohoo! He did like the Sonic thing. Woohoo! That's yeah. what that's the noise Sonic makes in Sonic Adventure 1 when he's at Twinkle Park doing the kart yeah. racing game. Why why do you why do you remember <laughs> that one? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! No more of right? Oh, brain damage. Damn it, or I'm gonna fall! Welcome to the soul. What is the soul caliber one? Oh, Welcome um... to the stage of history. How's the game? Yeah, yeah, the game's going well. I mean, I'm actually enjoying it. I always enjoy the first session and then it gets worse afterwards. Yeah, and then you start crying worse. <laughs> Plain coffee is the only way to drink coffee. People be like, oh, I love coffee. Make sure it's got 20 sugars in it. Drink alcohol. Oh, Get this bit. This, yeah, this bit's uh, this bit's a bit chunky. <laughs> Get on the ground. Man, <laughs> you had terrible at this combo. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you have a go? Oh, I'm good, mate. We go again. Oh, this cannon's hyper as shit. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Um, we're just eating tea bags now. That's a common thing in the UK. We don't like to waste anything. Yeah, you have to eat the tea bag. Yeah, we eat the tea bag. Is that not yeah, something Americans do? I'm a girl. Girls can't be nonces. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was watching the Nero Automata montage the other day, and there's a part where I'm talking about Drake and Godfrey, and you're like, "Don't spoil it. We might play it." And I was like, "No, we never play that fucking garbage." <laughs> Uh, I know, but that's fucking good. Free spoilers. That don't mean anything. We're not playing that fucking shit. I mean, show the game. <laughs> who are you playing as, Tom? She's fit. Uh, this is zero. Oh, this pit's a well. Like I'm playing Deadpool. No, I'm, what, I'm reading Deadpool, or I'm watching yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool so much. I hate the humor. No, game over. I'll say when this ends. <sighs> <laughs> The thing I hate about okay. Deadpool is that fourth wall breaking is interesting and unique and funny when it's done sp like sparingly. And his whole thing is that he just breaks the fourth wall all the fucking time. And it just loses its like um 
its charm immediately. Oh, they change as they uh, they like evolve. That's cool. That's actually like kind of cool, is that? Shame. Oh. And then tell oh. everyone she knows until she begs you to kill her so the humiliation. Oh. Can... Yeah. Mate, that jumping is so bad for it. Oh, go chuck a couple in fountain and wish for a better family. Go on, why don't you, son? Wish for a better family. <laughs> <laughs> By like comparing this to like Jurassic Guard one way air combat, it's so like on rails. Yeah, it is literally on rails. Yeah. Oh, it is. I thought this was just. Uh, no, it is. Li it's all on rails. Impenetrable shield of antiquity. Ah, oh, God, this fight. The rare power granted to our own. The stout citadel that protects us. That's Armorous. A pool! Oh, damn. Yeah. It's a big castle. Oh. Shit, castle. It's a uh, Laputa. From below. Oh, God, the frame rate. Oh. <laughs> Did it first time. Bloody hell. That it? Yeah. I remember that being way harder. But I do remember this bit being like fairly easy. Oh wait, no I don't. Tell me, are you saving yourself? Or do you just stink down <laughs> Oh zero. Oh man, that is so savage. Why am I what's going on? Where are we? <gasps> zero <sighs> She's back to normal. You're here. Oh shit. Deceived. Thanks for the info. No, I thought you were Bitch. back. I can't believe you fell for that bullshit. The land of forests. It was a place steeped in insanity. That's how you make. That's how you make a good villain as well. You just give your villain like schizophrenia. You don't do any research about it, and then you just like, oh, they have schizophrenia. The mental. That's it. That's how you write a good villain. Uh, this bit on ironically made me laugh the first time I played it. I wasn't expecting right. it. It's a new mm. day. We've got a new ship. It's time to set sail and conquer the world. It was funny when I first played it. <laughs> oh no, it's skeleton warriors. Aren't you embarrassed to be seen out in public? Oh, boo hoo, we lost our dragon. We don't know where he is. And yet, he's waiting in the Valley of Fairies just ahead. Well, have fun being lost like a bunch of... Oh, no way! That's like oh, Ligma. Is the worst. That's Ligma's last line. I think Corona kind of revealed how many people were scratched as well. Like, what, I have to wash my hands after I've been to the toilet? Trees with faces. Yeah, I said hi to him because I thought he was smiling. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing funny That's something you do, is... girl. What? He said he talked to the tree with the face on it because I thought he was smiling at him. That is something you would fucking do. Oh god, wait, what the fuck is Mikhail? What are you doing? Mikhail. Mikhail. Mikhail, I can't see a fucking thing. I am the disciple of Lady Three, Mistress oh, yes. of the Wood. Best character. Oh really? If you only knew the surprise I've got in store for you. I surrender. You what? I surrender. I can hear a fucking pin I came drop. here because I want to join your cause. Why are they lingering on it so long? Got a child's rib. Nice. Yeah, this is Okta, an easygoing, older looking man with an insatiable sexual appetite. Any orifice will do, and his member is the largest of any of the disciples. I know I'm covering that up, but that is genuinely what it says. Look at the way the things point up when she sits down. I, like I said, I think it's the English voice actor. The Japanese one is like. It, you can tell when she's like. when the model is speaking. That it's no, the the facial movements are nowhere near as aggressive as the English voice actor is portraying it. Women, children, the elderly. It doesn't matter. If you stand in my way, you're gonna die. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh no, Octa, what are you doing? The old guy's getting off to it. <laughs> and then you imagine, like, if you only ever read Zero's, like, novel about her, and you're like, holy shit, yeah. this is fucking, like, this is rough. And you play the game. <laughs> You're a dragon, mate. You can fucking fly. Look! It's the accursed songstress's slaves of the night! Actually, they're disciples. It's oh the my same God. Thing, <laughs> I will protect Lady Three to the very end. Well said, kid. Thank you me. do that. <laughs> just let you take In any case, you might want to pay a little more attention to your surroundings. Hmm? <laughs> Shit, dark knights. Yeah, all the soldiers like puppets because she's like stitched them together basically. Yeah. Something interesting in Drake and Gaffrey. It actually so ties into the character. Behold the third song! Quickened puppets of antiquity! I, Octa, summon thee in my name. All missile invade! Mate, you're dropping some bars. It's the babies. Terrible. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Zero, that was wonderful. Did you really think something like that would finish an intoner? <laughs> that is brutal. The dragon shows his true colors. Is this what dragons are? It's so sent. My name's sent. Oh, and yes. I was sent here by Lady Two. I'm oh, taking Mikhail. To fucking fly off. Dish dish. Dish dish. Dish dish. Oh, I'm a shmarty man. I hope the Endwalker queue isn't going to be like that horrific. I mean, I don't, I, I don't think it will. Is that one of those parody movies? Oh yes, mate! Fucking epic movie, mate. That movie is fucking sick. That oh, the yeah. humor in those movies is like literally the same as like Big Bang Theory. Because <laughs> the joke is literally just a reference. Oh god, oh, oh he's got rockets! I like, yeah, I like when the textures disappear. They turn into a heartless for like a split second. Turn to a heartless. This guy's really starting to piss me off. Shut up, Yosuke. One of these days, that dragon is gonna be your downfall. And when that moment comes, it'll be too late for regrets. Traitor. This will require both quick reflexes and extreme patience. Just, just oh. break him in half. Stop being so messy. Just the the dodge, even though it's shit, and like the the lock on is just well. so nice, and having like health pickups everywhere, like it actually like is fair compared to fucking Drake and Guard One. Yeah, because Accord is in this game, but she's also mentioned in Near Automata, um, and she is mentioned. Well, she. She's mentioned in Near Automata, but she doesn't show up. But she's in the world of Automata. But in yeah. Replicant, she's mentioned, and it's said that she visits the village. You're wrong. That is grim. The sand ogres. That is a little bit racist. That is desert. I wonder if the desert is a reference to Star Wars. If you enter the magically enhanced sun, you'll take damage. Retreat into shade. Oh my fucking god. Oh yes. Are you. Oh, the frame rate. Fuck off, dogs. Somebody wolf's chips. Fucking hell. Oh, he dug, under the, he dug into the stone. Fucking old man. Why is he so fucking horny all the time? What's wrong? Perhaps a story would help. Let me tell you of the time I was in a brothel with a cactus and three lovely vixens. Stop making it worse. <laughs> it was great. Cool. 
Now we've got a yeah, I like his retexture from the other century. Yeah, yeah. How the hell is a shield deflecting nope. a fucking dragon's like fire? Man, our shield is too strong. He actually. Oh, no, I, I was gonna say he controls all right on the ground. Look at this. Look how like he's got like no way. He just moves so freely. Lady Two is a tad exhausted at the moment. No, oh, she's like yeah. fucking just gone. <laughs> well, what can I say? I guess my physical gifts speak for themselves. She wasn't fully developed. Her body couldn't handle the power of her song. Hand her over. I'll end her suffering. Cross the countless swarms of writhing dead. I sent summon thee in my name. The song is uh... Oh yes. Mate, it's fucking chaos from Sonic. Yeah, all the intoners have like weird things where like a part of them won't stop like developing. And think for two, it was a strength, no. and she became too strong for her own body. I think freeze is that her hair won't stop growing. So you could have done like some bayonetta shit with that. You could have made it so interesting, like the boss fight. Yeah, yeah, you could have literally had like the whole like stadium be like the hair. Like, that, oh, that would have been sick. Fight, yeah. He has like a hair castle. <laughs> like the fucking rats. Oh, oh yes. Michael? That's not his name, his name's Mikhail. I think he's evolved again, yeah. Now he actually yeah. looks like Michael. You're not gonna follow two to the grave? <laughs> Heavens no. The DLC does kind of go just into want to serve an this. I really don't care which one. After all, I'm just a big idiot, right? It's all like an act. Do you know, my lady, doctors say a passionate night of log jamming is the perfect cure for such ailments. Hmm? Forget it. Then give me three days, would you? I need 72 straight hours of self-pleasure before I'm ready for combat. Nope, not happening. There's just one sister left, huh, Zero? Finally down to one. So I guess you're gonna kill her now, huh? You got a problem with that? It's just that we've killed a lot of people now, you know? And? Well, when I try to sleep, sometimes I... I can still hear them screaming. Do you, Zero? Do you hear them scream? No, I don't. Wow, Zero. You sure are strong. Was none other than one herself. The final intoner. Well, this is the Cathedral City, which would later and become the be um, the Empire City in Dragon Guard One, and this yeah, yeah. city Maybe just zero. appeared one day yeah. in Midgard, and it's where all the there. magic came you from. The and the big brain theory is that this city came from the Ark that landed in Midgard after it took off from the world of Automata. Uh, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow, that is a terrible shot. I didn't know what I was supposed to be looking at. Well, this bit's actually kind of sick. It's cool. I just wish it wasn't like a constant play. <laughs> yeah, I wish it wasn't like a slideshow. <laughs> Mikhail's fucking he's been learning some dirty words. When Sonic zombies, and then I remember the Eggman had a nano machine based virus. A good control Ed Anyone and it made them act like zombies into Sonic comics. <laughs> what? Nice red eyes. I actually want these. It fucking is. Surprise. That's that is such a good theory. You take that black piece of shit. Sorry, sorry, what? Zero? Sorry, what? Am I enjoying Drake and Guard 3? Uh, more than Drake and Guard 1, yeah. This game is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I actually really like this game. I think it has some really fucking awful moments, but. I don't know, I just like it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like it. I think it's so fucking stupid, I kind of find it funny. I wouldn't recommend people to play it unless they really liked Yoko Taro's work. Yeah. Like, that is the only reason I would say to play it, is if you like his work and you want to play his games. Shooting stars! Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let me open this. No! <laughs> this is like one of the three good moments in the game. It's unavoidable. I'm giving you your old forms back.
And that exact shot is referenced at the end of Near Automata, because I put it in the edit when we did it. It's a record of life in the Cathedral City. Oh, a record of life? Zero. Don't you think it's strange? This city is said to be the origin of all magic. Spells were crafted here that even now are far beyond our abilities. Where did this knowledge go? When did we lose it? Come to me, Gabriel. Oh God, yeah, apparently this boss is really hard. I have some VHSs. A big bird. Oh God! Does anything oh. hurt him? Whoa, he's stuck in the wall. Yes. Abuse it. Even if you lose your memory, at least you'll still... You know, right, Zero? Why dragons can be reborn? Because they get a final wish. Enough! A dragon's wish is a deep and powerful thing. So now, I'm gonna make mine. And I'm gonna kill that dragon. What are you saying? If I use my life to wish it... And I can make it happen. Isn't that great? No. No. No, no, no. I am not letting you do this. No. Oh, wait. Hang on. Wait, what? Die. Yeah, now you have to fight them. Hang on. I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail, now I... <gasps> oh, fuck. But how... Brother. I'm one's brother. Brother? That's... impossible. You wouldn't know. You only had your five sisters. Your sister, one, created me. You think after all this, I intended to survive? The world doesn't work that way. That is ending A. Done. Lots of Hirokis. Three Hirokis, two Hirokos. I hear so. Oh, there's a lot of Hiroshis, bloody hell. To say how many people worked on this game, fuck me, like, it doesn't feel like it. I guess they just ran out of time. I don't know what the budget was like on this game. My guess would be dog shit. Did Zero ever have her own disciple? Um, no, she's the original Intona, and we'll get into that as we go through the other endings. Zero's not like the other Intonas. If there are no Intoners left to protect the world, and I'll just protect it myself. Like this. <gasps> yes, boy. Seems like we should have taken a different branch somewhere along the way. It's recommended that after beating branch A, you go and play through all the sisters DLC apart from Zero. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So five is the one, the, uh, the first one with the massive church core. And her, like, obsession and the thing that won't stop growing is, like, her lust for... Her lust to, like, consume, I guess? Like, sexual lust and stuff. Bitch be horny. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was a beautiful intoner and a young man. The intoner was driven by a vast array of lusts. And the young man who accompanied her was really, really sick of it. Just what I'd expect from the queen of the depraved. I mean, look at that one. It's actually been worn down from overuse. She just has to try out every toy in the book. Isn't she, is he implying that the toys are abrasive? So yeah, this is Five's DLC story. We're literally just going to get like this fabled animal to eat. That's the story. Carl lives in a mental institute. Not yet. Oh, God. 
<laughs> no, you bastards. They knew. Her eyes are a bit mental. What's she doing? I'm a bit crusty. I like season one because it's funny for another Star Wars. Yeah, I preferred season one because it was just Mando like doing his own thing. I didn't like how they started to bring in the bigger like connection. I prefer if it was just his story. Like that's what's so interesting about Star Wars is you, you've got this fucking almost infinite universe that tell all these different stories, and they always bring it back to this one fucking plot point that's been done a million times. The intoner searched for her beloved meat and mushrooms, only to come up empty-handed. No. As for the young man traveling with her, he pretty much wanted to kill himself. This is voiced by the same lass who voiced Angelus from Dragon Guard One. But yeah, this is the demon. This lit would later turn into the demon dragon that One was using to fight us at the end of uh, Ending Air. Just something about women like you that really gets under my scales. Is it the way you talk? Is it your face? Is it your chest? I think it's your chest. Why would a dragon care? You know oh, that right? oh, that was... Oh, that was... Wow. We need the plumber and Carl's mum for the final stream. Yeah, that plumber were terrible. Like, didn't do his job properly and left the toilet in a right stare. I don't mean he'd, like, shat in it, but, like... <laughs> Whoa! So that what we might <laughs> oh, oh, what is the fuck is that animation? Oh, I think the crab is underneath the boat. Oh. This is the whole. This is what the whole mission was about. Was uh, was getting this crab. Look at that Shut the fuck up. I think this was the least important story. Yeah, this one's fucking shite. <laughs> like the story. <laughs> This is the end. This is literally With all they the came big, to do. Juicy crab finally dispatched. You can't just come and slap the, the shard. The group decided to really cook do. and eat it on the spot. Five's DLC story. It was amazing. What would you give it out of ten, Carl? Uh, I'll put it in the trash. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's jump into four's chapter now. There was a beautiful intoner and a middle-aged man. The intoner yearned for a world of peace and happiness. And for evil to be banished forever. So she sort of made out in the main story to be like, oh, the goody two-shoes, like the the sweetheart of the intoners. But we'll see in this DLC, it's uh, couldn't be further from the truth. So you can only screw if you're an infatuated couple crooning about love all day like two and scent? They aren't what I mean. Their love isn't... Noble. True love is more subtle. It's softer and stronger at its core. Oh, Barb. Did you steal that crap from a greeting card? Oh, what do dragons know about love? This contradiction is so... you get it. Oh, that's really scary. I mean, you have sex with other men before you met me. I bet you smoked the weed. Did you smoke the marijuana? That's illegal. And the heart of this beautiful intoner was full of holes a frigid breeze seemed to blow through it what could have made it so cold this dragon had no idea you can turn your ashes into a diamond yeah i've i've, uh, I've seen that do you not want to be a beautiful diamond ring when you die carl and then someone loses you drops your bomb and you flushed away <laughs> <laughs> I've told this story on stream before. So basically, this happened a very, very long time ago. We're talking like fucking before the fucking like 19th century. So basically, a, 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 a monkey, dead monkey, washed up on the shores of Hartlepool. And it was dressed in a sailor's outfit. Like a French sailor's outfit. And they thought it was a spy. They hung it. It was already dead. But they, but they decided to hang it again on the beach. Oh, no, no, no. First, they held a trial for it on the beach. And then when it didn't respond to any of the interrogation, they hung it and then sent it out back out to sea. I used to know someone who genuinely thought that space was hot because that's where the sun was. And that, wow. the, hi and that the higher up a mountain you got, the hotter it got because you're closer to the sun. <laughs> I un unironically knew someone who genuinely thought that. I enjoy walking, just these boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. And one of these boot days, these boots are gonna kick your fucking head in. It's not like I'm fishing for compliments or anything. It's just, yeah, you, you know, 
If one would talk to me more often, maybe I'd have a better idea of what she really wants. Well spoken, my lady. Now, as to the upcoming battle. I mean, I am the most cooperative of the sisters, you know? The world will what be better a pirate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Your elves, you just said. You just need to ask yourself what it means to be on the right side. <laughs> oh no, you can see the little elves flying away. Now we've got to take on the mothership. The mothership! What's so funny? Manslaughter. We're fighting elves, remember? So it can't be manslaughter. <laughs> As long as they're not civilians, they're fair game. This is the hammer of justice at work. <laughs> it's just not audio mixing either. It sounds like they're right in your ear. The cries for help echoed far and wide. But none of it bothered the intoner in the least. After all, they weren't civilians. After all, they weren't human. Fall's, Fall's really interesting in that regard, but they don't do much with her. They set it yeah. up, like, really well. Like, that's, like, that's not, like, a conclusion. That's the start of something interesting. But they just, then, that's it. That's the end of a DLC. There was a beautiful intoner and an elderly man. The intoner's only love in life was making dolls. She loved it so, 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 so very much. You simply cannot compare some splintered puppet to the majesty of old Arcta. She's you're saying, does she, does she fuck them? Fuck the puppets. I guess. She's got like what? swords on her knees. <laughs> oh, the book. That yeah, cannot be convenient. Oh my god, she's well fuck. slow. Yeah. Is that like the game? I can't even tell. She's slower physically than Carl is mentally. <laughs> Their brain's motor signals weren't able to communicate with their nervous systems. I think excess noise in the neural connections ended up slowing their movements. See, my goal was to make good, useful soldiers. To make powerful, beautiful, obedient soldiers. But I failed. Oh, well, yeah. I think she made, like, some of the first Cyclopses. Like, the big bastards from the first game. Oh, my ice cream van's here for you. Shut up! Stop playing your fucking song! Oh, no, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, on the chest? Is every other sentence an innuendo? Yeah, this is Drake and God for Ekamil. And nothing was more curious than humans. <laughs> so the intoner asked the elderly man, Why do people fight each other? The man replied, I don't know. <laughs> Why do people move? Why do people think? Why do people live? Why? 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 I was off enjoying myself in the deep forest. Ah. I apologize for the delay. However, I reached my fever state a record 592 times. You counted. Oh, keeping one's memory sharp is what helps maintain youth after all. Christ. What is this fucking level? Oh, I need my bigger map, that's why. Trash is what it is, man. Where the fuck do I go? Big oh, fuck big. off. Two of them. I guess this is the last one, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, the frame rate. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking hell. The intoner's hobby caused her to lay hands upon human beings. Once she crossed that line, nothing could stop her. The elderly man silently excused himself from the room. He chided hey, himself for over. his impotence. As he mourned for his now broken intoner. This is two's DLC and this is probably one of the only reasons to play the DLC pack. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was a young man and a beautiful intoner. The intoner was a boundlessly kind and cheerful young girl. And while her partner was not the most intelligent man, he truly did love her. 
This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that was deeply in love. Because sometimes the rants might take a... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Really? Is there any need? Promise not to die even if it kills me. That's actually quite important. He promises her that he won't die because that's kind of the reason why he joins Zero. Kaim, you mustn't kill people. You mustn't make people cry. Kaim, you've killed all those people. Imagine how much that's going to make them cry later. Imagine how upset they'll be when they find out they're dead. The kind intoner gathered up orphans across the land and cared for them. She didn't have any parents of her own. So she wanted to help others escape the misery that she herself had known. And through it all, her one true love was always at her side. This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that strove endlessly to support each other. Yeah, both. I don't know. I'm just worried, you know. The well, kids she, are fine. I know, Should be isn't good enough, Scent. We have to go check on them right now. Oh no. Oh, I've been living on the ground. I don't know why you would ever be scared of a ghost when the most they can do is like, you know, knock over a cup or slightly move a doll. Are they able to like possess people as well in some of them? No, that's like that's that's demons, mate. It's different. Has a ghost ever like killed someone? Like, has there ever been a report of like a ghost actually killing too. someone? That was like polar guys. I swear they will be no, that's just people with like so mental illnesses. <laughs> no, but that was like meant to be another form of ghost. I mean, not they don't exist to begin with. So <laughs> it's rather redundant. I reinforce them with the power of your song. That may be why. No. This isn't too spoilery, but the intoners, the fact that they can sing, links them to the Watchers. Yeah. And these guys are kind of becoming a, a hive mind sort of thing because of the power of her song. Cathedral City, that's where they make the cheese, innit? Aye, that is true. Oh, here we go. This is where, he, this is where Scent put the children. In the fucking what are these skulls from? Where are they? Where are the children? All the skulls. All right. And just what it was. <laughs> oh bloody hell! What's gonna happen? Oh, there's a little kid on the tail. Oh god, is that an AOE? Yeah, I, mean, I know from Dark Souls. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, AOE on chocolate. That is dirty, fam. Oh no, that was a bad call! By the end of the battle, the intoner's spirit had been shattered. The broken shards fell deep into darkness, doomed never to return. This is the story of a couple deeply in love. The story of a foolish couple. The story of a couple ruined beyond repair. That is the best DLC. Oh, Explains why two is like she is in the in the main story. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there were five beautiful Intoner sisters. Four of the intoners owned a personal servant called the Disciple. But one of them had no disciple at all. One versus one. Sword. If you're like this already, you'll what never sword? be able to kill Zero. Yes. <laughs> the intoners are a cursed existence. I realized this back when the nation was still wallowing in chaos. Before we stepped up to save the world. Every intoner needs a disciple by her side. They boost the power of the intoner's song and also quell the desires that stir within them. Zero? Who's Zero? You'll find out soon, whether you want to or not. 
can't Just keep it this going for ages. Look what Camilla uh, got me. God. Mystery of the Druids. Physical. Uh, it's so good. Literally cost 50p. Mystery of the Druids has a satisfying, epic storyline. Well written and clever, it truly evokes the good old days of adventure gaming when quality was the norm. Are we the baddies? That's a question in basically every Yoko Taro game. Um, Sister? Hmm. <laughs> Remember what you told me earlier today about how intoners are charged up sexually? Is that true? Yes. Is it true for you? Yes. So do you need me to? Oh, no. No. Why not? Why not? Because aren't allowed to. We need permission just to. Huh? It's not happening, okay? You'd have to be some kind of crazed maniac to do that. But then. Sometimes I dream about. I What's that from? <laughs> the two of them made up for what each other lacked. And they grew up together within the cathedral. And beneath the light of the moon, the dragon quietly watched over them. <laughs> zero with Margie on the False zero. Zero? How lucky. Meeting zero so soon, I mean. Yes, too lucky in fact. I'm not sure if it explains this, I only know that you closer. fight with this. The forest interpreting people's thoughts into reality. Hmm. Feeling their weight upon her, the dragon reflected. This human is clever. She'll soon uncover the mistake this world made. Though the dragon considered the pair to be a right royal pain, she didn't attempt to disturb their slumber. She let them remain just as they were all throughout the long, long night. So when it says the mistake, my guess is either like discovering magic or like letting the flower out of the mm. cathedral city. Mr. Beast about a TikTok saying if we hit 10 million likes he would win a squid game IRL. Here in 20 hours. Well, people are gonna die, it seems. Old Jimmy's gonna go mow down some people. Divergence, Branch B. If a unique set of conditions yeah, there's some weird like stuff. Come together, Look, the shades, top left. Splits occur in time. <laughs> yeah, the shades. Multiple world divergence Shit. phenomena. M3210, E0020, QV. Begin recording. So that's a chord, and she's like controlling the timeline. And we got to it was a straight path to ending A. And she was like, right, okay, let's try and do something different at some point in the timeline. Because she's trying to find out, like, well, this is just a theory. We don't actually know. Yeah. But me and Carl think that a chord is trying to find out where the Watchers came from, where the Queen Beast came from. Off he goes. Flying like a piece of paper. Oh my god! That's my favorite so warrior line. Oh, look who's here. It's Zero, the crying. <laughs> oh my god, it's the boss baby. Oh, it's the famous gif. <laughs> Judy, hop to it. You like Zootopia, don't you, Carl? Do I? Yeah, it's that anime, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? B stars. Beast. Yeah, I like beast. Same thing, really. Oh, a big boy, big tree Goliath boys. It's Groot. Model change. Ruddy L. Goodness. So that's how they regenerate. That's how she regenerates. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> oh, yes. Ground mission with the dragon. Oh god. <laughs> oh yes, I like how he's so close so, to the camera. Oh, the, the trees! Yeah. <laughs> I can't even fly that high. Like, this is as high as I can go. Fuck me. Oh, this bit, this is sick! Bring fire. Where are you going, Mikhail? Lady Zero needs you. You're gonna run off and Stop repeating dialogue. Oh god. Oh. The toast of London's funny. It's like him. He's like, he's like some shitty actor in the West End. He's constantly trying to get gigs, and he's like, 
I'm going to audition for James Bond. And he turns up in the studio, like the auditioning room, and he's like, he's like, hello, I'm James, James Bond. Bond. And James he calls out like a real gun. Like, hey! <laughs> the forest has oh, changed, and its foes are more violent. Furthermore, the singularity dudes. known as Two and her disciple Scent are now acting independently of one another. Ah, oh, please don't be a long level. Please. Please. Oh, it's a really short level. Uh. <laughs> Very dramatic there. Is she dead? She's totally dead! Two's gone a bit loopy. <laughs> she fucking killed one. I've had enough of this. Time to put you out of your misery. <laughs> yes. Why did I leave Two's side in the first place? Why did her mind decide to shatter like this? I'm just a fool, so... How should I know? It's over. <laughs> We're finally together. Oh yeah, there's another fucking boss because they summon a demon. Sorry, Zero, but I think I'm done. I'm really sorry, Zero. Dragon, no. By the power of my soul, I hereby forge a pact. In exchange for the life of this dragon, gods of the east, goddesses of the west, I offer up the flame of my life. This is the first time we've seen a pact being formed in this game. This is a prequel, yeah, we've been saying this the whole time, Camille. <laughs> Yeah, it's set way before Drake and Guard one. Zero? <laughs> hey! Yeah, that's ending B. It's a bit of an odd one. A cord is a bit more. Well, she's like a human, sort of. <laughs> um, but yeah, we think Drake and Guard three is a simulation, and the way yeah. a cord says like start recording, and in a little scribble she has drawings of monsters from the Nia universe. Like, she's clearly from that timeline. Which she's... she's trying to get the best result. Yeah. By uh, basically exhausting every possibility. In the Replicant remake, in one of Yona's diaries on the loading screen, it says that a woman called Accord came through the village, which means she exists at that point in time, and she exists in Automata. Uh, and in one of the dark diary entries that you can get on a random load screen, it says that the Accord Corporation is running tests on something. By utilizing the reprogramming function of the flower, the singularity known as Zero has created a new concept known as a pact. Yeah, so she I do not know how this will affect yeah. the future. I mean, she has like Polaroids and stuff. However, I will continue yeah. to observe events as they unfold. M3250 E0970 FL End Recording is that the flower? What you mean, like, is the flower the watchers? That's a good question, Camille. I've observed an extremely worrisome branch. When the singularity known as Two captured the dragon, Mikhail, I detected her imposing some kind of magical influence upon him. Until now, only Zero could enact such influence. This is the first known exception. And as such, increases the likelihood of an unforeseen accident occurring. This matter must be prioritized for careful observation. That should take care of this cold spell. Oh, a cold spell. I get it. That sounds pretty banging there. Oh my god, is that a checkpoint? Holy shit. What the hell is this? Oh, he devolved. He did, he did evolve. Oh yeah, level 29. Harry Potter's so never really interested me. She was a seeker. Oh, like Harry. He was a seeker. What am I looking for? I better start it. <laughs> oh no, what the fuck? 
I was about to make the same fucking joke. To replace Puta. What, from, uh, from Gurren Lagann? The little mole. Is that when they were filming, like, the final Blade movie? And apparently there was a scene where it was just like a shot of Wesley Snipes opening his eyes. And he refused to do it, so they had to CGI, like, his eyes opening. Because <laughs> he was just being <laughs> like, he was being like an awkward swat. Time. It's good to understand a series that you don't like, because then you can just tear people who like it to shreds. That's what, what I do with Camille. Yeah, they're turning into a bunch of fanatics. A person's belief system can often... They're turning into a bunch of Twitch viewers. Game. You know, now I think about it, the line, um... In Dragon Guard 1, Welcome to a World Without Song. Mm. It's even better when you put it in context with this game. Yeah, like, because it technically will, when it will, it, I think it's kind of obvious that all the intoners will disappear. Yeah. And it's literally a world without the song, like, because the song was good. Uh, it stopped all, like, the like shit that was going on, like, all the bad shit. The like, I'll say speaking of Harry Potter, it's like, if he's got a free headed dog, doesn't he? Does it? Yeah, well, f fluffy in it. That's Agrid's dog. I that fucking dog. It's from the first movie because they have to put it to sleep. No, Pegasus is the bloke who invented the Yu-Gi-Oh cat. He invented dual monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Dragons oh, devolving. Fuck. Disciples the abandoning their encounters. A branch this strange merits very careful study. Hope everyone is doing good. Why the hell is the screen flickering like that? Oh fucking God. Hell. Significant anomalies have been observed in the group of singularities centered around zero. I also googled Mikhail, what singularities meant. The harmonizing factor has devolved and demonstrated other anomalous behavior. Uh, a, sing a singularity is a very small factor that has a massive like states. effect I shall on continue something. My yeah, like a bolt boy, keeping an eye yeah. out for any signs of a full collapse. <laughs> These fucking noises, man. What the hell is going on? Oh, this is the meme bit where she starts running and she doesn't even reach her. My dragon. Oh. <laughs> like, surely she would have got to her by now. Oh, bloody hell. Tell us. How's this feel? Was this always her plan? What divine punishment. Don't act so goddamn happy, break. I don't know. Yes. I'm here now. There we go, everyone's just fucking dead now. <laughs> Intoners offer only pestilence to this world. Someday, they will be the disease that brings ruin to all human life. I know about your flower. I know it's behind all of this. And I imagine it's not going to let you die until it succeeds in destroying the world. Oh shit, it's the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> no. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. I know you know this. That was piss. Was that second phase? You want phase? to kill an You need the power of a dragon. I messed up. No, Mikhail. Yeah. Fuck's sake, Mickey. Yeah. Oh, I got another fight. Four, five. You gave life to each and every one of them. Then you went and killed them all. What did you expect? Cursing the world. Then saving the world. Yeah, well, I guess we talked about it last time. The the flower is sort of linked to the the queen beast and the intoners. Not the intoners, the watchers. Where will you find a dragon powerful enough to kill you? This is where she comes everywhere, isn't it? This bit. It is. It literally is. From all the, like, swallowing here. she's been doing. Then who's Come. gonna kill me? Where's the that, that's ending C. But yeah, that ending is just, like, such a bizarre one. You don't really gain anything from it other than 
what one talks about at the uh, at the end of that fight there. So basically, Zero. So before she was an intoner, she was a normal human. She was a little girl, and she was sold into slavery and sex work. And I can't remember what Rosa. That's it. Yeah, because of the color of her eyes. And I can't remember the exact turn of events, but she ends up in a situation where she's about to die. And there's loads of other girls in this like area with her that are like all part of this this ring. And a flower, a lone flower, appears to her, and she accepts it, implants itself in her body, and keeps her alive. Well, she makes a wish like curse in the world. Oh. Yeah, she curses the world, and then she tries to destroy the flower, and because. It, um, the flower won't let her die, you know, it's, it's a parasite. Um, so it splits itself off into all the other girls in the room with Zero, and those become intoners 1 to 5. Now where the flower came from is all up for debate, because we're not all entirely sure. And not, no spoilers at the minute about like really deep lore, but in the manga there's a there's a thing in the Cathedral City called the Black Flower, which is like sealed away. And part of it gets out. We have no clue what the Black Flower is, but it was locked in the Cathedral City when the Cathedral City appeared overnight. The Intoner Zero completed her objective. However, the Dragon Mikhail has died, and Zero's mental health is in a rather alarming state. I'm afraid there's little chance of finding a solution in this timeline. As such, I recommend sealing off this branch. M5120 E0945 FL End Recording Oh gosh, I didn't lose a recording by accident, did I? And what happened to the branches between A and C? Ugh, if I screw this up, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Okay, just breathe. For starters, let's check out recording M1410E0002FL. Zero. What now? Can I go find a boss? Why are you surprised? Why are you oh, so it's the famous He's line from the intro. Oh, God. That's a hurl over here. Is that the sort of thing those guys that doing? usually eats? I think they're like cowering and running away. No. He's deep, oh, all right. Fashion. Keeps jumping everywhere. Maybe there's a world where the flower doesn't appear. There's got to be a hint or something that can lead me there. Wait, when did Zero ever find out about a cord? Hey, up, bung, how you doing, mate? Hey, up. What did I tell you about barging in? Huh? Oh, I could have sworn she met her in her DLC because the DLCs are oh, pretty well. cool. I remember. Water under the bridge. So how come you can see the future, huh? I can't tell you that. Or maybe. Hmm? Maybe you don't see the future at all. Maybe you're the one who's making it. That would explain a lot. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not that talented. All right, next up, we've got this recording from Branch B. No, not that one, that's Branch C. And that's Branch A. Come on! Uh, there we go. That's Branch B. Finally. Okay, then. Let's have a look at recording M2410E0005FL. Oh, no. I know I've said it before, but if you don't change course soon, things are not going to end well. Is that what your little book says? Indeed. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, boobs. It's our job to record world events from the ancient past to the distant future. You know the old world you people are always going on about? Well, I was sent by folks from there. So the old world is also another name for the cathedral city, like the place that looks like a modern day city. Where Michael. Every now and then would be nice. Oh, this is a super prequel. 
And if you get in my way, I'll kill you. Kill me, huh? No, don't kill a card. You're so sexy. If the singularity affects you. <laughs> Look for the hills. We can't possibly. What if that bloody hills, mate? Phil, come on, get out of there. This concludes the supplemental repairs made to recording M four five one zero E zero nine zero zero FL. Please ensure that such mistakes do not occur again. Yeah. On the right, With that's this, Stricken Guard 1, but on the left, Stricken Guard 2, top met. left is near. That's mad. Now, all that remains is Branch D. Oh! The, the final, final record branch. of the singularity known as Zero. Falling off a bike as an adult feels like a very Camille thing to do. Oh, poor Camille. <laughs> What's more embarrassing, here he falls off a bike or I can't ride a bike. I, it, was, it was like... Like the PE teacher wanted us to like ride bikes for something, I can't remember. Oh, so you could like watch your thighs like chafing. Yeah, death. <laughs> we can tell, Tom. Okay, fam. No, but before we even started, I legit said to him, I can't ride a bike. And he was like, like these yeah, you can, what you're about. Like, oh, I so, fucking hate like, when PE teachers do that. They fucking do that all the time. It's like, you'll tell them like, oh, I can't do this. Stop yeah, you can. No, I literally can't. I'm fucking telling you that I can't. PE teachers are all pricks, they're all fucking paedophiles as well. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, the other PE teacher was cool, he was like drummer. Like a drummer. He was, he was drunk? Like no, he's very really good at drumming. Alright, oh, like drumming his wife. Why are they busting someone? Oh, the ghost busting me balls! <laughs> oh, stop busting me balls! Well, that one ghost does suck off that guy, doesn't he? Does he? <laughs> Yeah, the, in Ghostbusters, the, like, the guy gets a blowjob from a ghost, his eyes go crossed. I don't remember this. That is, real, that is a real scene! Uh, Zero's party is close to learning the truth of the Intoners, but their journey isn't over yet. Will Branch D bring about destruction or salvation? What do you think, Carl? Hmm. Destruction or salvation? Both are you and aren't they? <laughs> are they? So what do Zero's decisions mean for this world? Will they bring about salvation or destruction? There is one last branch to follow, and it begins in the land of mountains. Why can't I play the get it on game? Come on, let me! I bet I'd be real good at it! No, and Octa's not playing tonight either. But the burning passion in my loins! Christ. Mate, I, I, will, I will not miss Octa. <laughs> what did that conversation add to anything? Sometimes old timers have that problem with their man bananas. Shut They're up, Octa. <laughs> Fuck me. It's all he fucking talks about. Four. Oh, sweet Zero. I've realized something. We don't have to be scared of this world. Because once I destroy it, there won't be a world to be scared of anymore. She'll be all scared. <sighs> <laughs> She's gone a bit mental. God, this is tedious. Best way to tag line for the game. <laughs> God, Dragon Guard 3, God, this is tedious. That's what it says in the box. <laughs> Fuck me, this is. Fuck me, this is garbage. Oh, like, oh, that was kind of cool. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Just like, fucking really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's dead, lol. Dickhead. What? Oh, she said, Simon says far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you bored her. In the midst of all these anomalies, Zero is heading for the land of forests. Dragons have a hunger. They want to eat intoners. And the stronger an intoner's magical force, the stronger that craving becomes. That said, some of them do manage to control such longings. That's why Mikhail here can stay calm around Zero, for example. Yeah, I can control it. I'm awesome. Yeah, watch this, watch this, right? This is the strong attack for this weapon. And I, I, I will move the control stick until I can actually move. It behooves us not to curse the dead. There you go. Whatever. Uh, okay. No, I don't know why I feel so tired. He's sleeping, mate. He's sleeping. Wake up. 
Let me through, let me through, let me through. Just keep running. Just fucking run. 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 Run, run, run. Who's swearing? She's a zombie now. You dumbass. You resurrected yourself? <sighs> Arise. Go, go, yeah. The crazy eyes. Resurrected yourself. What? Look at this I never could brawl again as well. You really expect me to feel empathy for Five, the woman whose DLC was literally her going after a big crab. It'd be nice if I turned around. Oh my god, turn around, Zero. Huh? Wait, what the hell is this? You summoned an angel without the aid of an intoner. Gonna have to pay for it somehow. Zero, wait! No, 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 no! Tough shit, dickhead. I'm not gonna miss you, Yosuke. There's no point in living in a world without Lady Two anyway. Now I can rest. We are recorders. We? Our duty is to observe. But as I continue to record the singularity known as Zero, I began to find myself filled with very strange emotions. No, no, our cards getting attached. What did that Accord girl say again? <laughs> it's a dragon's instinct to consume the flower? I don't think he can hold something like that in check so easily. By the way, Octa. Yes? Isn't it about time you had a bath? But I thought you enjoyed my musky odor. Besides, the sweet tang of man funk really gets me in the mood. Wash up or get out. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma indeed. Really? Why was that scene like really well animated? Now you. If neither of those are available, will do. Those are all right too. In fact, I've been really enjoying lately. That's just wonderful. So he fucks animals. <laughs> oh no. What was that I just saw? Oh, yes. My name is Mikhail. My name is Mikhail. I really love me some zero. I'm not a stinky dragon, nor am I a dirty dragon. Hop on my back and let's go for a ride. Yay! Oh my god, he's going on with these wyverns. They're going wild, mate. Like the same. Like that one fucking fly though, the mat with like, tiny wings and like a massive face. It's magic, mate. <sighs> Horny man. Decadus, how did you get here? I had Octa give me a boost. What does that even mean? That's kind of amazing. He got higher than us. Shit, this is gonna be epic. He's summoning. He's Alder. going. He's going for him. Forgive me, my lady. Oh, this might be the flashback. Have I bit. overstepped my bounds? Mm. No, I suppose it's about time. It all started two years ago. So here's some, here's some backstory to the flu. Oh. This is really hard to play. I can't distinguish anything. Was the day I died. Oh, it's because music. Now I'm just a corpse being kept alive by the flower's magic. A corpse. My brain, my heart, my body. It's all being kept in motion by the flower. I'm no longer alive in any real sense of the word. Basically, to prevent me from killing it, the flower made copies of me. And that's how I ended up with my sisters. Of course, these children aren't any more alive than I am. So now, the eldest corpse is running around killing all of its little corpse sisters. Oh shit, it's a card. Oh, this is when she first met a card. Ah, okay. For starters, let's talk about your sisters, shall we? You know. The accursed sisters that you're destined to fight? My name is Zero, the original intoner, and the immortal. Well, why can't I do that attack? This bit's actually like really good. Oh, yeah, it's just straight one shot. No, but I mean like Mikhail's oh. this dialogue's like pretty interesting. So I help you, Zero. Oh, this is it. 
There she is, a little bastard. This is it. The penultimate boss. I can eradicate the intoners as easily as you can. Like I can trust you. I have to do this myself. You should talk. You gave birth to this curse. I think at least one of them might be able to accomplish it. So basically she's being told by the higher ups no. to abandon this branch. I should stop. Yeah. I'll erase this entry and hand the recording off to the next pass in its current state. End recording. So yeah, a call's being told to end the branch because she thinks because they're saying like the higher ups are saying it's fucked. <laughs> a pity we couldn't grind the whetstone one last time, my lady. <laughs> See, even in times of crisis, my man's sword is as sharp as a witch's. <laughs> <laughs> Engage accelerator. Yeah. She's intervening, even though she knows she shouldn't. She's your stubborn. Alert. Requesting condition 2 8 under authority 777. Load the following code. Understood. Executing code. Yeah, that voice sounds like... Something. Oh, she was an android. That's why when Automata yes. got announced, everyone freaked but out. This went a little different than I had planned. This bit's interesting, what she says However, here. I think this way was more human, wasn't it? We know that androids try to be yeah, human from Automata now. Good night, Accord. Tell the old world. I said hi. Um, so yeah, this is Zero's DLC. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was an intoner who was infected by a flower. This intoner had five younger sisters. Each of them cursed as well. Fearful of the flower's immense force, the intoner began searching for a dragon, a dragon strong enough to kill every last intoner. So basically, the flower is the Watchers. But yeah, where the Watchers came from and how they got to the Drakengard universe, this is all a theory. Yeah, it's purely like speculation on our parts. I mean, we have some things that feed into it, but nothing is confirmed. So basically the Ark flies off, containing the what was originally the tree, mm. and all the data about humanity. And along with it, the Red Girls, who are a digital incarnation of the Watchers. And that fight, that arc fires off into space, lands on Midgard, the world of Drakengard, and similar to the copied city from Automata, copies the Cathedral City onto the world of Midgard, and that's why it appears overnight, and no one knows where the fuck it came from. And buried in there is the flower, some kind of incarnation of the Watchers or an incarnation of the Lunatia of some kind. The reason they show themselves as a flower, we think, is because they've been on that arc for fucking god knows how long, and they saw that people used to see the Lunatia as a thing that could grant wishes. So they presented themselves to Zero as a flower that resembles as Lunatia somewhat. We can see from the end of this game will eventually lead into Drakengard 1, 
the watchers will fall back through into Tokyo. White correlation syndrome will happen. The events of near and near automata will happen. They'll get fired back off into space and they'll land back on Midgard. We think that the Red Girls in Neo Automata are the start of the Watchers and the... Because the Watchers started as a digital virus because the digital, the logic virus was spawned in the tower and it saw records of the Watchers in the tower because it came from the tree and they thought, oh, we'll start like replicating ourselves to look like the Watchers. So they were inspired to become themselves by themselves that they will eventually become. It's fucking like insane. The, our theory is that Drakengard 3 is like a simulation being run by a card to find out where the Queen Beast came from at the end of Drakengard 1. Because a card is an android and there's a there's a corporation called the Accord Corporation that run oh, like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. As I say, they run like tests on this shit. That was my first encounter with Michael. He was stupid and not nearly as strong as he thought. Oh, yes. My favourite kind of level. Oh, Michael actually feels like he has some kind of weight to him. That's crazy. The cube. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, what? Defeat all the enemies if you miss and you have to start over? Oh, come on. Just let this fucking mission be over, please. There's like no dialogue. Fucking hell. Michael explained it like this. Dragons had been the natural enemies of the flower since ancient times, and dragons were the only creatures in existence that could destroy the flower. When he saw I was infected with it, it kind of hit a nerve, I guess. Michael kept describing it with words like destiny and preordained. Annoying as hell, actually, but whatever. Up there, so sure. What? <laughs> Ah, turn that. Yeah, that was close though. Was it? No! I fucking <laughs> killed- I killed it at the exact same time it killed me! Please just put me right back at the start of the fucking- oh, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> there was no health bar at the bottom, so I thought, oh, the fight isn't ready yet. So I, I yeah. won't attack. As soon as the health bar comes up, I attack and it kills me instantly. Oh no, here he is, right. There we go, now it appears, right, beast. There we go. He had fought thousands of battles. He had lost count of how many people and other creatures he had killed. In the end, all that remained was a mountain of smoldering castles and half-burnt corpses. And over the sad and endless years, Everything the dragon once believed in had become as ashes in the wind. If you have the strength to defeat them, you likely have the strength to suppress your curse. Overcome this trial, and I will grant you the right to live. It will not be easy. Hey, wait a... Hey! Get back here, asshole! What kind of ridiculous reason is that? Don't leave me alone on this shit heap, you goddamn idiot! Oh, now that I know I can what? dash, oh, come this platforming won't be oh, anywhere near as hellish. Hate stupid shit like this. Mm -hmm. Almost this immediately is falls off. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Yes, Zero. Just because you're aware the platforming is bad doesn't make it so okay. Oh, we're, get, we're so self aware. That doesn't mean anything. You know, you've taken me to a lot of bad places, but this dink shithole really takes the cake. Mm -hmm. Is that fear I detect from an intoner? Shut up! Strength by besting me in combat. If you are so able, no, I shall more. grant your wish. <sighs> I, Michael, the strongest of all dragons, will become your friend and companion. And together we shall overcome every obstacle the flower sees fit to place in our path. How many times have I told you to knock off the formal bullshit? Oh, I've got a hit. Wait, have I got the hit the thing back? I guess. Oh, mate, it's like Zelda. <laughs> it went the bottle. After living for all these millennia, after losing all that I loved and believed in, all that remained inside me was loneliness. I thought I would never speak to another person, but as for why I desire to be with Zero, I cannot say. 
humans are a truly annoying lot. But as promised, I will fight alongside you. It might even prove to be simulating. Simulating? I think you mean stimulating. <laughs> is that a <laughs> reference to what Drake and Godfrey actually is? Oh, there's yeah. loads of accords. So, how am I supposed to avoid this disastrous branch you're talking about? Well, we actually don't know yet. You don't know, but you came to warn me anyway? What are you, stupid? There's never any harm in gathering information, is there? See you, cards. In a bit, love. He was just an idiot dragon with a knack for saying things wrong. Why would anyone trust someone like that? We were always grueling with each other, you know? It was a lot of fun. The dragon had a dream. The boy was a friend, one he fought with long ago. The dragon was shaking. Shaking with the fear of yet another battle. With the fear of yet another loss. As the dragon headed for a broken world, the boy stood silent. Fuck's sake. It cuts off like it's, like it's a television. Like it's a simulation. <laughs> Oh, someone's just put a good theory. Maybe Michael's part, maybe Michael's old partner was the little hero, the one that Sere talks about. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It could just be a little reference to that. That makes sense. Okay. Sign I do, strong. Mikhail. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Stop right with a flower in there. I don't Zero, have a flower. But... You big dummy. Oh, she became a queen beast. Got the music so good. It's far better than Drake and Guard One. Yeah. I was bad with your music, music in fucking Drake and Guard One. Now we just noise after the. Should probably turn the game music up a little bit. It's a bit lower. If I die, well, when I die, let's let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, when you die. Just a little thing as well, if you die, you go right back to the beginning of the song. The song's eight minutes fucking long as well. Ah, fucked it. It's because of the... So, there's a problem with the emulator. So, I'll just explain this now. This is not me bullshitting, this is actually a problem. We've tested it. Like, what it should be is it should go one, two, three, four, and then there's a slight gap for me to then go one, two, three, four. But instead of it being that... It's now one, two, three, and then I have to hit on the third note, and then it'll be continuing. So there's a, I have to be slightly faster. So you gotta time it when it like zooms in. Right, this is where it gets difficult. Okay. This is as far as I've got so far. I did some testing and I'll, I'll catch up with China in a sec. Sorry guys, I just wanna focus. This is as far as I've gotten so far. No! Oh! Fuck, I fucked it straight away. I pressed the... Pressing it too fast. You actually have to guess when the camera zooms in. That's bullshit, yeah. I know. It gets worse, Cyan. It gets, like, way worse. Like, yeah, it's bullshit in many regards. But I know I can do this, and that's what fucking annoys me. <laughs> so, I can get, like, one to three. Quite easy. But after three, like with two, I keep messing up on the same note. But I have gotten to one. 
I've gotten to one on stream and I got to one on one of my test runs off stream. Oh, yes, got past two. Fucking hell. Nice. Oh, no! Shit. That's the furthest I've gotten. Like, at all. And then this yeah. is where it gets some bullshit. Yes! Final phase. Final phase. Fuck. This is it. This isn't the run, but... This is the furthest I've made it. Absolute silence. Oh! Too early, too early. Ugh. That was good, though. That was good. The camera. I know, Cyan. I know. Cyan, the last note is when the screen goes black. And, there's, <laughs> and the BPM is one beat per minute. And you can't time it. You've just got to guess. Yeah, it's not great. I used to have a mate who lived on a farm, and like throughout the night, the geese in the shed would get scared, like by someone mm. random, and you would just hear like fucking like terror, like the most haunting fucking screams. Like, all the geese would like go crazy at the same time. <laughs> Did he actually throw a brick at a kid playing in the snow? Yeah. They used to throw. You, Carl and his mates used to have uh, brick fights. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't have snow, you use bricks, innit? Just makes sense. <laughs> Mother and his mate would throw bricks at me. I would dodge him. If I dodged them all, I got to throw bricks at them. <laughs> Unrelated, but when you mentioned stealing at school, it reminded me of someone kept stealing AC pieces in the heat. Didn't help all the schools were good at keeping it, it the what in somehow. Wait, what? People were just like dismantling air conditioner units. <laughs> or stealing parts from them. Yeah, like going around with screwdrivers. I saw that shit that's going on at TikTok at the minute, the licks, the devious licks. Where people the fuck is that? Yeah, people steal like toilet seats and shit. I swear, I don't, I don't fucking get TikTok, like at all. It's kind of just like the modern day millennial, like, lust for attention and easy fame, like, exemplified into a fucking app. Yeah, it's like Walter random the app. Mate, do you remember the game Brink? <laughs> Fucking brink! <laughs> Yo, that game was hot, garbage. <laughs> I never played it. I used to have mates in school who always were begging me to get it. And I was like, I don't really like the way it looks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. People made it weird to hook your plushies, I don't know. People are weird for fucking complaining about what other people do in their life. <laughs> Especially, I mean, unless you're doing something like Unless you're hurting someone, I don't see why anyone should give a shit what you do in your life. True. The queen beast taking the form of the intoners. Um, now this is the final form of the flower. This is the final form of the flower. This is where the watchers came from. No! Fuck! Fuck! Fuck. Oh, I got cramp. I got cramp. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Very pretty lady, why? And this one's Tits McGee. <laughs> You are very beautiful, and I love you, and I want to make you oh, lovely. God. I hear. What? Sorry, what? Up in there? I fucking hear. I heard the note go. God, it's making me sleepy doing this over and over again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck! Ah, that's the one. Oh god, it's so close! That's the last bit! That's the last fucking bit! Yep. Just need to chill out for a second, take a breather. Sony 3. Just evaluate what we did wrong. I think the fact that like you can't do it very visually, because yeah. it's so fucky, it's... would piss me off more than the other <laughs> one. Like, the fact it's like eight minutes long, the fact there's no checkpoints, you can't pause, the the camera goes fucking stupid, there's notes off-beat and off-key, like... No, it's intentionally just to fucking take the piss. Yeah, I know, I, this whole game is basically just to take the piss out of fucking Drake and Guard. It really is. I mean, Drake and Guard 1 isn't really a good... I'm saying that. 
Mm. But it had a certain tone, and um, the st- like what was done with the story was executed very well, even if yeah. it is still very flawed. But you could have, uh. you could have, like, there's, there's enough parts for this story to be, like, fucking excellent, but it's just weighed down by all the stupid, fucking, like, awful, like, um, like, fucking tonal shifts. You get what I mean? Yeah, it, it's the worst thing he's ever made. Oh, that, no. Like, that, it's, no. it, I don't think it's even, like, excusable, like, oh, it's meant to be funny, it's meant to be a troll. I don't give a shit. Like it's a f- it's a terrible game. It's the worst thing he's ever made. Well, no. And and I don't. I fucking hate the argument. Like, oh, it's like a meta commentary. I don't give a shit. It's a terrible meta commentary. Yeah, it's done shy. People don't want to play the game. Someone put out like an SOS on Twitter. Like Tom, Nee anyone good at rhythm games? I think Rooster is good at rhythm games, but this looks more like memorization. Yeah, it, it sell, it's sort of a rhythm game until it becomes bullshit. How come we in the city again? This is the Cathedral City. This is what it looks like. Looks like a modern day city. I could be Tokyo, like, transport. But... Well, yeah, we, you know what? We talked about how, like, the Ark lands on Midgard. And then, um, similar to the copied city in Nier Automata, it pastes, like the city onto the Midgard because apparently the Cathedral City appeared overnight and no one knew where the fuck it came from. And this is the Cathedral City. It looks like a modern day city. And that's where a lot of people think it came from. Midgard is far better than Earth. I don't know. Who named the planet? Jesus. We can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing this boss over and over until we beat it. I don't really care if people like, oh, you didn't finish the game properly. Shut the fuck up, retard. (laughs) Try it yourself. (laughs) Try playing this game from start to finish and see how much fun you have. I should have listened to my past self when we played Nier Automata. I said we'd never play this garbage. (laughs) Should have listened to myself. Uh, we actually got pretty far. We got really, really close to the end of the song, but I kept messing up on this one part. You just tried not being shit. Uh, you wanna have a go, mate? <laughs> Wake up, Ray, by slapping her. She is awake. She's on her iPhone. Wake up. We might come back to it during one of the charity streams. I don't know. We'll see. But God, I'm it just gonna get like an abusive partner. <laughs> I want to. I'm so close to the end. I'm so close, mate. I'm, I'm so. I'm like determined to do this because I didn't. Go back. Because I didn't legitimately do Drake and Guard One. I'll leave him this time. There it is. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, fucked it. If only save states worked. Oh, you would have done it if we had save states. If, if save states were compatible with the PS3 emulator, we would have done it last Thursday. Fucking easy. I said to Carl before this stream, I guarantee a month, like next month, they'll release save states for this emulator. Probably will. <laughs> anyway. Again, like, <laughs> right, memes aside, my biggest question is, who is this game for? Who did he make no. this game for? No, it's, meta- not it's not even like a meta commentary on like what fucking Drake and Guard One was a better meta um, meta commentary on on Warriors games. So what? It's trying to be a meta commentary on Drake and Guard games. There's only been two of them, and they're both shite. Have you seen? My brother looked up some reviews for Drake and Guard Three like on Friday, not on Friday, on Thursday. Sorry. Yeah. And there was someone who was like, "Oh, it really depicts." like strong female characters who aren't afraid to talk about sex and sexuality and i was like there's literally a guy who talks about his cock and how big it is like every other line that he says (laughs) wouldn't that be funny if we get to the very last joke note and i miss it that'd be fun i'd actually probably put my controller through the wall if that happened and technically this game is garbage yeah this game is dog shit why did we play this mate I'm gonna say it again. If we had save states, you can keep saying it. It's not gonna <laughs> magically material. Someone tweet at the guy who makes RPCS free and tell him to put fucking save states in it already.
No! Shit. I fucking got past it as well. Okay, again, I hit the button. Didn't do anything. Oh. Right. I think this is the last attempt, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm damn a bit sick of this. Uh, I don't know if it was made with pettiness in mind. Yeah, but, well, a lot of people reacted badly to the end of the Evangelion series. So he basically made it as like a massive, like, F you to the fans who didn't like the ending. Or, like, um, sexualize the 14 year old girls in it. God. It's out of sync, I can tell. Right, final go. This okay. is it. Let's make, let's make this count. This is it, final go, and then we're just gonna watch the final cutscene. It's out of sync. Oh, it started really bad there. Oh, mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was really out of sync. It fired like three notes at once. Well. I tried. I tried for nearly five hours. You know, I. it's not like I didn't finish the game. True. We didn't cheat. Well, I mean, there you go. We didn't cheat like Drake and Guard 1. We fucking cheated that entire game. No, we didn't, we didn't cheat. Well, you're like, you just grind it hard, man. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, guys, I'm doing it. <laughs> See, it sounds like they hit them all in a row when they fucking do it. So, yeah, after that, it starts to slow down. It's so <laughs> dirty, this bit. It's fucking well conscious, this. It con it's the be the beats per minute. It the BPM is slowing down, and it's not over. It's not finished. Wow. Yeah. And that's it. There's even one when the dialogue comes in. Yeah. Right, let's watch this ending. But stop repeating things. But getting to be with you, Zero, getting to eat next to you. Let me just turn this up a little bit. Fly around with you, getting to have you yell at me, and then getting to be friends again. It was really, really fun. I'm glad. <sighs> Mikhail. Yeah? It's almost time. So yeah, Mikhail kills Zero with along with the flower. He seals them away in another dimension, which is where the Watchers then come out of in Drake and Guard One. Recording. Oh, it's a card. The intoners have been sealed off in another world. The threat of the flower has been extinguished from this branch. However, the possibility exists that this seal could unravel at some time or location in the future. And that's what happens in Drake and Guard 1. Until then, our recording efforts will continue. But I cannot shake the feeling that somehow, somewhere, Zero is still alive. And that... Someday, she and I will be here. Handover of recording duties complete. Don't know why the audio has gone really crusty. Excellent work. Well, I wonder how the future is going to unfold from here on. <laughs> I hope to see you again someday, but until then, 
I'd like to say thank you for playing. Draken Guard as a whole. I think it's in I think its importance to Nier is way more than it should be, especially Draken Guard 3. Yeah. I feel like if you're a Nier fan and you like Nier for what it is, don't play Draken Guard. Just re just go and read about it. Like don't don't play it, don't put yourself through it. <laughs> go watch the cutscenes, there you go. Tom failed the fight. Nah, I did it, Aaron. Um Adam, I did it. Yeah, true, but